we back at it with these theories y'all we are on a roll when i tell you we dropping videos like this recording like this editing uploading like this we on a roll but theories on tiktok instagram facebook and youtube that are going to make us question reality shout out to each and every single one of you guys that have sent in videos again if you want your video featured on here along with the shout out please add the discord the link is in the description down below without further ado let's go ahead and get into today's reaction video the first shout out of the day goes to deandre thank you for the video hospitals will be empty when everyone knows this a single cup is enough to cleanse the liver and skin this is the most complete of all hmm. for this tip we will need to cut up a purple onion the onion is extremely rich in antioxidants which will contribute for a long time to reduce cholesterol and triglycerides for this recipe we will also need two lemons we will cut them into small pieces lime. <laughs> lemon is a powerful natural antibiotic thanks to its high content of vitamin c which helps to increase our body's defenses Okay, um, Finally, we'll okay. add two cloves of garlic and 300 milliliters of water. We'll let it boil for about 10 minutes. If you want, you can sweeten it with a spoon of honey, although I recommend taking it unsweetened. You will take this on an empty stomach three times for a week, and you will see how all the bad stuff you will discard in the urine. Thank you for watching so far. Tell me your city so I can send you a hug. And <laughs> so I can send you a hug. I've been learning so much about stuff that you have at the house that can really heal your body. Y'all, your girl then invested in a juicer. When I tell y'all health is wealth, I'm really about to start taking more care of my body and my health and just doing all these remedies from stuff that you have at home. But Islam is quite patriarchal, isn't it? I mean, doesn't the Quran say that men have authority over women? Well, don't they? Men are the ones who have been oppressing you all this time, right? I mean, according to your oh, own narrative, shoot. men have been running the show. The feminists are asking for their so-called rights from who exactly? Look, if you didn't have what you call patriarchy, then what you would have is a hell on earth for women. Because clearly, women do not have the power to coerce men, to force men, to make men deal with them this way or that way. Hmm. If you're out somewhere and a man starts to chat you up and you don't want to be chatted up, what do you do? You tell him, I have a boyfriend, I'm married, and he goes away. You have to conjure up an imaginary man huh. to get him to back off because nine times out of ten, only a man can keep another man in check because men are inherently more dangerous than women. Instead of patriarchy, replace that word with bodyguard. What makes more sense? For you to be my bodyguard or for me to be your bodyguard? Who do you think is more capable of protecting who? From who? If men didn't protect women, who would? Why, men would do whatever they wanted. And isn't your bodyguard responsible for you? Shouldn't you listen to him if he says, for example, don't go here, don't go there, or let's take this route instead of that route because it's safer? Isn't that authority? But he's doing it for you. Would you feel resentment about that authority? That's irrational. Now, ladies, ladies, really listen to that with healed ears. Really listen to that without your opinions, your thoughts, your comments, and really listen to what that man was saying because he's absolutely right. There have been so many times where I have been out and, you know, men, it's what they do. They approach. Oh, I got a boyfriend. Oh, I'm married. Well, I can't use the married card no more because I don't, I used to wear a ring. Y'all, I used to wear a ring so that I wouldn't get bothered, but then I took it off because then I was like, oh, wow, wait, I could be ruining my chances. <laughs> like, we want to be the guy married. So long story short, um, I used to wear the ring or whatever, but I took that off. But you're, you're not going to say, oh, I have a, they're not scared of no woman. But if you say, oh, I have a boyfriend, I have a man, I have a husband, whatever the case is that is your first go-to it really is it truly truly is when you think about it but i i said all that to say is that i really want women to listen to this because they'll hear the women aren't greater than and then and they'll lose it they'll go crazy women have to submit to men oh they lost their mind they don't even want to hear the rest of the, what this man just had to say listen just listen to what he's saying with open ears because he's not lying now do you know why mr muhammad teaches us not to eat from the face well, the pig contains certain disease-causing organisms. Right. Right. You're exactly right. Now, that's the physical aspect. There's also the mental or psychological aspects, and there's the spiritual reasons why we're not supposed to eat of the pig. That's the Look reasons. The characteristics of the pig. He's sloppy. Mm -hmm. He's greedy. Mm -hmm. Greedy like a pig. Isn't that what they say? They also say you are what you eat. So what we put into our mouths affects our minds and our heart. We don't want to take on these characteristics of sloppiness, of uncleanliness, of selfishness. Now, from a spiritual aspect or a spiritual standpoint, 
The Bible and the Quran teaches us that it is divinely forbidden for us to eat of any pig. In various chapters in the Bible and the Quran, it talks about this. For, so from a, a physical standpoint, from a mental or a psychological standpoint, from a spiritual standpoint, we don't want anything to- Oh my gosh, that has to be my favorite part about this movie. It took me forever to like finally sit down and watch this movie, but then after a while, like, I I'm glad that I waited, because you know, your whole timing is perfect. You're not supposed to eat pig. You're not supposed to eat pork. And then a lot of y'all gonna come in here and say, well, the law's done away with- No, it's not. Because Matthew 5 and 17, if you read it the way you're supposed to read it, tells him he did not come to abolish, but to fulfill. Fulfill meaning he showed us how to live the Torah because you had the Pharisees and the Sadducees sitting here distorting the Torah. So he had to come down here to show us how to live it. So he lived it. He followed all the laws, the statutes and commandments. And when he died, he was telling and teaching us or before he died, he was telling and teaching us to do the same exact thing, whether he's here or whether he's not. So don't tell me Matthew 5 and 17 is the law being done away with because it's not. You hear this stuff. You are what you eat, y'all. And he broke it down from three aspects. Pig is not even worth it. If you can, and not even looking at it from a biblical standpoint, like if you really do your research on it, like it's so much negative factors that it has in your life when you partake in this meat. And then at the end of the day, like I always say, if Yahuwah tells us no, I promise you it's for a great reason. He don't want us to suffer. He don't want us messed up. He don't want us in health problems. No, he's telling us this because there's a reason behind it. Ain't no pork on my fork over here, baby. 73% of African-Americans are lactose intolerant. 95% uh, of Asians. Uh, roughly 70% of Native Americans and about 53% of uh, Hispanic Americans are lactose intolerant. Jeez. Our government is encouraging Americans of color to eat foods that it knows is going to make them ill. Ultimately, what that boils down to is the government is telling me as an African American to eat food that's going to make me ill for no health benefit so that it will benefit uh, dairy farmers as a form of institutionalized racism. Yeah, milk is a risky a food for human consumption as a pediatrician. I see on a daily basis children suffering uh, from conditions that are linked or associated to dairy consumption, such as eczema, acne, constipation, acid reflux, uh, iron deficiency, anemia. Cow's milk protein is the most allergenic food. People think, well, no, I want hormone free, not injected with bovine growth hormone. It but don't matter. Milk mm -hmm. is this hormonal fluid, so it's just packed with sex hormones and natural sex steroid hormones like estrogen, progesterone. In fact, doesn't matter if it's conventional milk, doesn't matter if it's organic milk. Milk without hormones, that's an oxymoron. Organic dairy has just as much saturated fat and cholesterol. It's no and different. Toast, <laughs> and all the things that you don't want as conventional dairy. Dairy products in general have a lot of other products associated with it, not the least of which is pus. I mean, they actually have laws limiting how much pus you can actually have in the milk and still wow. sell it. I believe it's like seven. When I tell y'all milk used to be my stuff, y'all, I hope I didn't turn nobody off. Mil I used to drink milk heavy. I'm talking about like, I would just grab it just because. Give me a cup, throw some ice cubes in there. I was a milk drinker. And then I think my mom was like, yeah, we shouldn't be drinking that stuff because what they're doing. So then I just kind of switched to almond milk. It's not the same, but I mean, when you kind of realize what they are doing to the milk, you ain't got no choice but to switch. But this dairy stuff, I really do have to get into because I know like the way I'm eating now, I know I'm doing still with the cheese, sour cream, things of that nature. So I'm gonna have to look up alternatives. I know alternatives. <sighs> do I want to make that lifestyle commitment though? I need to watch that show though. What the hell? Have y'all seen that? Let me know in the comments below. Did you get even four? Really? Yeah. Up here, pressured into the. Yeah, kind Is of. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> oh, I went to the doctor and I did my blood work again because I take my blood work all the time. And then I showed to the <coughs> doctor and we kind of see these particles and I'm like, what is this? And then they all No say, way, this dude. Is, this is Shut from, the f up. This is from this. And I'm like, oh my God. The reason why people, they die, they have these white blood clots. Tons of them in their blood everywhere. And so they're like, this is what you maybe have. Hmm. Oh, he died? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't know he died. 1993, he was only three years older than me. Oh, wow. I didn't see that coming. Dang, RIP to Joe. Thank you, paid for the video. You think they're gonna cure 
It's a hundred and ninety four billion dollar a year business. Chemotherapy is big business. Yeah. You think if you came up with a pill, a guy had a pill that cures you may take three steps and you popped in You're the head. Dead. I got yeah. a car that runs on water. <laughs> dead. <laughs> Found hanging. He ain't lying. Uh, yeah, I hey, that. I figured out a way to uh, make all, all this power free. <laughs> <laughs> Another guy hanging. It's not funny. It doesn't make no because there's because it's billions with a yeah. B of dollars involved, and so it's yeah. not going to stop. You can't. It's like you know you, you can't you can't look. We don't live in a Walt Disney movie. The world is obviously very. Uh, you, you know, corrupt and and and, and there's real evil. I mean, it's that's a business industry. You come up with a cure. Now my industry is done with. Why come up with a cure when I make money to keep you sick? I'm not gonna make money if you're cured. Remember, it's like a it's a subscription. I, I broke this down already in multiple videos, but just in case we have some new people, being sick and keeping you sick is like a subscription. I get my monthly fee every month from you, even though I know a cure to help you. But if I know the cure, then that means you're gonna stop your subscription. That means I lost my income. So no, I'm, I'm gonna hold on to the cure and I'm just gonna keep you sick by doing these remedies that's gonna make you more sicker. It's a business, it's an industry. Thank you, Feezy, for the video. The Paramount intro is about the fallen angels. y'all catch that here take a look one more time now angels have been considered stars so now you see stars falling from the sky they're gliding across the waters and oh they're going tars it is 22 stars there were 22 named fallen angels that descended upon mount Hermon. now 22 named fallen angels these angels bestowed wisdoms individually case by case for each one to human beings wisdoms we did not yet deserve that's book of enoch for you but Nonetheless, this is obviously an archetype for that that we never even noticed in the Paramount intro, and it gets even deeper. Thank you, Ms. Harris, for the video. Look behind you. Insane. Whoa, did you see that just shoot across? Did anyone else see that? I seen it the. Oh. Oh. I thought he was just talking about the lightning. Yeah, I seen that part. I see that little thing that went across. Thank you, DeAndre. The coating is now applied to fruits and vegetables at major grocery stores, but there's more to the story than you've been told. Food companies have already been applying appeal coating to fruits and vegetables for five. That's not the case. It the organic appeal label is approved for use in organic products. Back in 2002, the NOSB approved mono and diglycerides for use in organic food, or restricted their use to the drumroll drying of food specifically for potato mash mixes. Since the NOSB cannot find any favorable replacements, they have continued to allow its use, which has now been expanded to food coating. The company, which has gained the backing of high-level investors like Oprah Winfrey, hmm. Bill Gates, hmm. Katy Perry, hmm. the World Bank Group, hmm. and the Rockefeller Foundation, wants to fight food waste. Food waste is a significant issue that I've touched on many times. However, I believe this is a concerning band-aid solution to a much bigger problem, which is that people are disconnected from their food sources. Rather than stressing yourself out with looking at all the food labels to see which brands do and don't apply appeal, my recommendation would just be to buy fruits and vegetables directly from farmers who grow them. Was the world operating like this 15, 20, 30 years ago? If they were doing it now, they were doing it then. So let, let me be quiet. Thank you, being off for the video. Well, it's not your game. You didn't make the rules. So everything comes hard. As long as you're signed to a contract, you're gonna take a minority share of the winnings. A select few of us will do well, the majority will not. So as a people, we'll be considered a minority. But stop, let's take a moment and look at yourselves. There's nothing minor about you. You are a blessed people. You're the most talented on earth and you are still grateful. That is why upon winning in their game, you always thank God. Tonight I would like to ask one favor of you. Imagine what we'll all be like in our own game. Peace and love for one another. This told my he won receipts. Let's start with your mother. Your mother got the receipts. Everything is in your mother's name. That's the one who got the receipts. You need more proof? 
Big ain't here, so Big can't give you no receipts. He dead. Craig Mack can't give you receipts. He dead. What are you talking about? Who else? Black Rob can't give you receipts. He dead. And everybody else, you may sign paperwork so they can't talk about what I'm talking about. I'm the only one with the guts. And I sign it. Because I need the money. All money ain't good money. Remember that. I heard you. Remember that. Remember that. You know who to play with me. There is a meme, I don't know if you guys ever seen it, but long story short, we've all had people that we knew that like are no longer here on this earth, right? But there's always those people where when somebody, you know, passes away, there's those people like, I was just with you. I was just with you like two weeks ago, last night, 20 seconds. Like it's always the, I was just with you, dot, dot, dot people, right? They say to watch out for the people because how could basically everybody you around die? Does that make sense? Like everybody that you around dot and you was just dot 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 with the person, right? But but you're okay, but the person gone. That reminds me of Diddy because Diddy has been around so many people and and so many artists and celebrities that are no longer here. Like like Mace just said that can't speak for themselves because all the people that he has worked with or signed or whatever the case is are no longer here. Why are you around so many people that pass away and you still here? You gotta do one of these. I don't know, but we all know Diddy. Diddy, there's some stuff that have came out about Diddy. Like I said, these are videos from August, September, October. So I'm having to catch up because I know y'all already sent videos about Diddy and all the demonic stuff and, and just wicked stuff that he been doing because it's more and more stuff coming out about that man. And he's been doing this for a couple decades. Thank you, Angela, for the video. Little baby rainbow it, it's starting to end in the same area but that that's interesting that's beautiful uh, who's the most m the biggest earner on only fans i don't know that's black a good china black Ch <laughs> what <laughs> million dollars a month what <gasps> What did you say? Mm -hmm. Do you understand how much money that is? Hold on a second. Can I see a picture of her? Hold, hold, hold on a second. These women make so much money. That's so much money. I know. I'm telling you, they make. It's insane how much money these women make. How is that possible? So everyone on this list is uh, like the top 15 earners on there. They're all celebrities, but they maybe made that amount one time in a month, and then oh, wow. something changed with all of their accounts. It seems like. Like Bella Thorne is number two. What? Who is Bella Thorne? What does she do? The Disney star. Cardi B. Cardi B makes nine billion bucks. Yeah. Look, monthly looking. subscription, five dollars. Did she how much? She only ever posted six times. Oh, she's, she's only posted six times. She made million eight, subscribers. 81 million subscribers. <laughs> 81 million. Uh, for her Soros' interview with 60 Minutes where he says, I see myself as a god. Have you ever seen this uh, interview or, or what he says? No. Really? He said oh. he sees himself as a god. Oh, my God. That's the one. This is the one. Uh, I've, okay, right there. It seems that Soros believes he was anointed, anointed by God. I fancied myself as some kind of a god. If truth be known, I carried some rather potent messianic fantasies with me from childhood, which I felt I had to control. Otherwise, they might get me in trouble. Whoa. Ask anybody who's from Hungary. Bring up the name Soros. See what they say about him. This guy's manipulated the uh, market currencies. He's like a bad guy in a movie. Do you know? Do you know people that know Jeffrey Epstein? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Me too. There's many people that feel like he was an agent uh, and that he was trying to compromise people. And that's one of the things about this whole Lolita Island thing. I mean, there's a lot of uh, thoughts, but that's one of the things about when he got arrested. The the was it the prosecutor, whoever it was, that cut him the deal literally was quoted as saying i was told he's above my pay grade yeah and that he was intelligence that's the quote really the intelligence yes. thing no one seems to know how he uh, made got his, his money, money. Yeah. well the 70 hmm. million dollar penthouse that he had in manhattan was given to him right given to him yeah who the f gives someone a 70 million dollar house right well, i was kind of hoping you would to me i don't have one okay if I have a bunch of them, I'll give you one. How did he get his money? I never thought about that. Thank you, D-E-U-N-T-X-Y. Again, I don't know how to say your name, but I appreciate you. So look what I've noticed. Hold this on. This <laughs> Ice Spice, and this is LMA. Why do they look so much alike? <laughs> and I, it's and I, a clone, I, actually. I, I, Not to mention, <laughs> I'm just now hearing about her. 
Where does she even pop up at? Random. Drake, you got some explaining to do. Drake? Yeah. Cologne. I'm not gonna lie, to this day, well, I can't even say how did Ice Spice make it to the industry because I see it don't take brains to get that. It's because, you know, she's the cute girl. She shakes her butt and she talks about what she talks about because I think her music's horrible. I'm gonna be honest. When she said, oh my gosh, that was, I think it was at her Grammys, like when she was thanking people, she said, Gra what? Bro, y'all not even speaking English now. This is crazy. But Ice Spice is not... It's not like I don't even want to finish the rest of that sentence. They do look alike, but I know we get into this thing where kind of all black people look alike at this point. Do I think she's a clone? No. LMA, I don't think is a clone of Ice Spice, but I do think Ice Spice is an industry plan. I will say that. It was it was black women being, but they can be. Let's advance forward. Before we get into um, the Casual Killing Act, the Casual Killing Act was written. Uh, because of the number of people who were killed by while being corrected. Okay. And if any slave resists his master, owner, or other person by his or her order, correcting such slave and shall happen to be killed in such correction, it shall not be counted felony, but the master, owner, and every other person so giving correction shall wow. be rid of all punishment and accusation for the same as if such accident had never happened. So that means that if you happen to be correcting someone and you beat them to death, you know how hard it is to beat someone to death? It's hard. I mean, I thought about that. I said it happened so frequently that they created a law so that you wouldn't feel any what? No guilt because you were simply correcting them. Wasn't your fault. That's horrible. So I went back to look at who was beating folks to death. I wanted to know. And it was white women. White women were beating black children to death. That's who was being beaten to death. But she, it wasn't her fault. She was just correcting them. You see, what we do is we rob ourselves of our own humanity when we refuse to look at this stuff. We rob ourselves of our humanity. And that's what people didn't know happened. Going forward, one more. Then you had the mental health folks. This is how we got in. We got in to try to fix it. In the early years of the 19th century, a physician named Samuel A. Cartwright argued that two particular forms of mental illness caused by nerve disorders were prevalent among slaves. One was drapedomania, which was diagnosable by a single symptom, the uncontrollable urge to escape from slavery. So now what we've done is we've now pathologized your desire to be free. Must be something wrong with them. Keep, keep trying to free themselves. Wow. And again, it would be funny if it weren't in journals. You see, all of this is to remove the cognitive dissonance. Now we have, look at all the people joining in. You got Linnaeus, you got anthropology, you got physicians. All of them saying they deserve it. It's not us. We don't need to adjust anything. And if they just tried harder, how about you people just pull yourselves up from your bootstraps? What's the matter with you? The playing field has been leveled. Well, we're going to see if, in fact, it's been leveled. Or is that conjecture? Move forward. Now, I want you to look at this photo very closely, and I want you to see who's in it. More important than the man hanging, because you got to understand the lynchings that occurred in America happened after slavery, not during. What? Thousands of lynchings happened after slavery because this is a reaction to white fear of what we would do once freed. But we didn't create a vigilante group to take out white people, but they did create a vigilante group to take us out now that we're free. See, that happened after slavery. They were called the what? The Ku Klux Klan. They don't wear hoods anymore, they wear suits. But they're alive and well all over the world, even here. So, Look at who's in the picture. I want you to put, look at this little girl in particular. You can't see her closely, but she's actually grimacing, like smirking. Now, remember, I, let's go back to the puppy concept here. She would be loathed and torn up probably if this was a puppy, which means he's less than that because she's not disturbed. This little girl is not, is not disturbed by this, but she should be, shouldn't she? Yeah. People always ask me, they go, Joy, what was the impact on white people? 
There it is. Right there. Can't feel any empathy for it. None. Zero zip. There's a little one back here, even smaller. Because whatever sh she's been taught or told, socialized to believe, makes him no longer human. That's the greatest danger to white people, is that they can't feel it. And there's a reason why white people can't feel what we're talking about. My God, what would you then feel? It's tough. So I've got to believe, oh, it's all over now. It's not my fault. I don't benefit. It's not a big deal. Let's move on. It's not all of those things. But we don't say that to Jewish people. I dare you. Well. But you have to understand, when you unearth this one, that's what we did to our children. Let's move forward. This is a similar photo to the one that uh, is used in um, Denzel's movie. Now, and again, most important, this is a man that's being burned. Also, I won't read the depiction, but there are newspaper accounts of this. It's written in a book called 100 Years of Lynching by Ginsburg. No pictures, just newspapers that say not only did they burn him, they decapitated him, cut him into pieces, and used parts of his body as things to put on mantles. So people would say, get me a tongue, would you, or a liver, a little crisp, so I could put it on the mantle. <sighs> now, again, I want you to look at the folks. I want you to look at who's here. We're not talking about the toothless, big gut, hooded wonder, are we? We're looking at plain old, common Dressed up, folks. They're squeezing. Please, I want my picture taken. Are you following me? That's this is somebody's horrible. cousin, uncle, somebody. And the ability to do that dehumanize this man and rob them of their humanity all at the same time. That stuff still takes a toll on us today. Oh, let me just read the description one more time. So she speaks on post-traumatic slave syndrome. I've been hearing that so, so much. I have the book. I'm going to need to read it. I just have like, I have so many books on my list this year that I have to read, but I'm not complaining. That's just going to be one I'm going to add to the list so I can, because I, the way she broke this down, she sold me. I want to read the book, um, but I'll say the, the, caption or whatever so she speaks on post-traumatic slave syndrome and the impact of the intergenerational trauma of slavery and how it directly affects african americans today what i do want to say is that i do love that she centered out the pictures because i can't take that no matter how many times they show i don't want to see it i don't even like hearing about it that just shows how much emotions i have about that topic and what has happened to like our ancestors uh back then that still takes a toll on us now so for those people to be sitting there gathered like she said it was people squeezing in that picture i sat here and watched this man get decapitated he got burned we lynched him and the fact that she said that the lynching happened after they were free it's like <laughs> when it comes to this topic i don't know a lot because i really did not want to learn about this it, it's sad to hear but it shows the difference between like my emotions for it and then the emotions of like that girl that little girl that was in that picture and that wasn't crying like literally racism you're not born racist racism is taught think about it there, there was a picture of this like these two babies black baby white baby they were playing with each other the caption of the picture was basically like racism is taught racism is what they instill into people you're not born racist it's no such thing as being born racist but deep video like i said she has sold me to where now i want to read the book now i've had it in my library for about a two years i just haven't got to it but i'm gonna add it to my list y'all let me know in the comment section down below what books have you guys read what have you guys want to get into or trying to get into whatever the case is and i apologize for stuttering it's just that my mind wants to say so much at one time but i have to say only one thing even though I want to say so much, but I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I do love and appreciate everybody that sent over videos. Most of these were like DeAndre, Bino. I'm trying to think of, oh, I had some stuff in the beginning, but shout out to all you guys. I really do. And if you want your video on here, along with the shout out, please add the discord. The link is in the description down below. I want to give all esteem, all glory and all honor to my Lord, Yahuwah, my Adonai, Yahusha, Hamashiach for blessing me with everything as a whole. I'm just a vessel that they're working in and through. So I gotta give credit and honor where it is due. Y'all know me. 
Y'all have a blessed one, and I'll see you on the next one. Shalom, shalom. You can't bring me down. I know who I belong to. Yeah. Why? I won't sell.